guys, today is kind of a more chill video, just because I look like I'm comfy, because I am. I kind of just wanted to do like a sit down and talk video, um, but I don't really have much to talk about, and I don't know what you would want to hear me talk about, so I was like, hmm, let me just do something fun, something that I want to talk about. So I decided that today I'm going to be doing my most anticipated reads of 2019. Now, I understand that we are in June. Trust me, I am very well aware, and I don't even know if this video is going to make it up this month. I know I'm about halfway into 2019, and most of the books that I want to talk about are already out, but there are a few others that I have that are not, and I just want to share anyway, just in case you haven't heard about them, just in case you want to read them also. Um, I just think I want to give a little bit of dedication time to these books, so that's what I'm going to do today. So the first book that I want to talk about is Internment by Sahira Ahmed. So internment is about a young teenager named Layla. Her and her parents get sent to a internment camp for Muslim American citizens. Um, and in there, she kind of goes on a journey for freedom and she has a boyfriend on the outside. She meets some friends on the inside and it is just all about her journey. And I have not read this, but I am very excited to read it. And I know that it's been pretty popular and a lot of people have picked it up. So definitely, if you haven't got it, you just want to buy it for support or you want to buy it because you're interested no matter what um, I think this is definitely a good read for multiple ranges of people the next book that I have is by Cassandra Clare and it is Ghost of the Shadow Market this book just came out last week and it is honestly so beautiful this book follows our dear Jem Carstairs um, aka Brother Zachariah he goes through the shadow market and learns different things about different people and we get to watch the different journeys. Um, I just started this. I'm on the second story, Everything Everlasting or something like every Every Exquisite Thing. That's what it's called. Um, and it's very good and I just, I am already obsessed with the characters that we're going to see in the last hours next year. Um, so I, I'm just loving this book. Um, if you're already up to date on all the Shadowhunter books, definitely buy this. If you have read all the way up to Queen of Air and Darkness, Buy this book and read it. You won't want to miss it. Trust me. So then we have Angie Thomas on the come up. I've already read this book, but it was very hyped and very rightfully so because this book was very good. So this book is about Brie. She's a young girl who wants to be a rapper when her parents do not want her to, um, especially her mom. And she just, you know, she's kind of going through it, trying to find out who she is, who she wants to be, what other people say she is, and her just working through and just becoming who she needs to be and who she's meant to be. Um, so that's what On the Come Up is, and it's a very, very good story. Um, Angie Thomas is such a great writer. Like, I, I just think so highly of her, and I love her stories. I love Hate You Give. I love On the Come Up, and she is just awesome, honestly, and I'm very excited for anything that Angie Thomas puts out, but definitely I would buy On the Come Up if you haven't already. So the next book is The Wicked King by Holly Black. This book came out in January, so you've had plenty of time to read it, and if you haven't, well then, honey, you need to. You need to read The Cruel Prince, and then you need to read The Wicked King, and then you need to get ready, because we don't just have one Holly Black book coming out this year. We have two, because Queen of Nothing is coming in November. That is another one. I'll put the picture right here if you, ha if you don't know what it looks like. Um, but I am so excited for Queen of Nothing. After you finish The Wicked King, you are going to want it, like, in your hands the next moment. This story is a high fantasy. Um, I consider it high fantasy. I don't know if it is really considered high fantasy. But it is about, um, but it is set in fairy where this girl named Jude is a mortal, but she's thrown into fairy for various reasons. Um, and she meets Cardin, who is a king, a, a prince to be a king. And they have a very interesting enemy-lover relationship, and I'm very excited to see where it goes in Queen of Nothing, um, and I just, I really love this book. Um, the Girl Prince was kind of like a, mm, on the fence for me, but The Wicked King got me on board to Holly Block, and I just am so ready, and I love her now, so that's The Wicked King, Queen of Nothing, you know, we're ready, a girl is ready to, you know, see what happens to Cardin, but let's just... Not gonna get into that because I could talk about that for 10 minutes. Okay. This book that I have is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book is about a girl named Daisy Jones and the Six and they are like a band and it's told in interviews and told about who Daisy Jones is and I have not read this. I have heard very like 
very good things and I'm kind of saving this for a special moment like I don't know it just doesn't feel like the right time right now if you know what I mean but there's gonna be a moment when I just need something like profound and something to change my life and that's gonna be Daisy Jones at six I'm pretty sure of it so whenever that time comes um she'll be here on my shelf and I'll be ready and she'll be ready and she's gonna rock my world I'm sure um but that's Daisy Jones at six so if you haven't picked it up I'm sure you're gonna because everybody is like talking about it but yeah there she is the next book i have is again but better by christine ratio this book is about a girl who went to college wants a do over wants to start over so she moves to study abroad and go to college somewhere else and her name is shane by the way which is kind of weird um shane is a boy name but i mean go off sis your name is shane work it okay um i don't know much about this book because i don't want to i want to just you know appreciate it for what it is and like fall in love with it myself without any outlying thoughts i just want my own so i'm very excited for this also i think i am going to read this pretty soon um maybe after i read daisy jones or before i don't know just whatever you know so the next book that i have is cassandra claire again it is red squirrels of magic this book is about alec and magnus and it's very appropriate that i'm mentioning it right now if i get this video up in time but um, this month is Pride Month, and if you want to support that in a small way, you could read um, Red Schools of Magic because it is all about Alec and Magnus, who are a gay couple. Not saying that that is what they, you know, should be known for, because it's definitely not. I'm in love with them for different reasons than that. Um, but they're just amazing characters, and I think anybody would enjoy their dynamic and them falling in love with each other. Um, it's it's just really a good story. Um, so so yeah, this follows Alec and Magnus as they are in Paris, and um, Magnus is accused of starting a demon cult, and um, they go through a lot, but it's very fun. It was just such a fun read. I actually have two copies of Red Scrolls, and um, a surprise, this one is signed. And this one is signed with my name on it. I, I just, I'm... I just have to say that because I'm just really happy about it. But um, this is the one that I got signed when I went to the um, release. Actually, when it came out, it was on April 7th or something like that, April 9th. Um, and I went to the release and I got to meet Cassandra Clare and I got to meet Wesley Chu. And they talked about it and it was just a really fun time. But yeah, that's Red Scrolls. So definitely pick this one up. Okay, so the final book that I have to talk about is probably like the most anticipated on my list and I don't know if I can really say that because I'm very very excited for Queen of Nothing but I think this might be this might take like the top spot of 2019 and it's kind of funny because it's coming out in November and Queen of Nothing is coming out in November also but I'm I'm gonna have so much fun in November I am going to have so much fun like it is going to be a great reading month but anyways so the book I'm talking about is Supernova by Marissa Meyer. Here's a picture in all of its glory. The cover is so beautiful. I am so excited for Supernova. I am so excited for the tea to be spilt. I'm so excited to see Nova be found out and be caught up by Adrian. And I just am so excited for Adrian to be caught up because he's a sentinel and Nova to find that out. And I am just so ready, so ready for that. Um, and it's just going to be such a great time. Like, it is going to be a great time. And I'm probably going to cry so much in November for Queen of Nothing and for Supernova. But it's going to be so fun. So, um, I'm going to leave it there. These are just my most anticipated reads. Um, I couldn't really think of anything else. I'm sure if you read other things, there are some other things that are coming out in this year, of course. But I'm just not into it right now. Like, I know King of Scars is coming out. And that's, like, a pretty big thing. Or it already came out. But I haven't read Six of Crows or Shadow and Bone yet. I have them on my shelves, but I haven't read them yet. So, you know, I'm not excited, per se, because I don't know about them. But if you're excited for other things that I didn't mention, comment down below. Because I would like to know if there's anything good coming out that I just literally haven't heard of. So, let me know. Um, but I think that's it for today. So, I hope you like this video. And I hope you like this video down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.